look welcome to Terry's Tips, guys. Get a notebook, get a pen because I have a ton of information to share. Guys, I'm going to try and make this video like as comprehensive as possible so I can give you everything without making it like five hours. Got it, got it, good guys. So specifically, I want to talk about how to delete negative items from your report, the dispute process, and how to write a effective, come on somebody, dispute letters. And I'm actually going to break it down into five steps to kind of make it a little bit easier. So watch it all the way through until the end so you don't miss anything. I'm also going to throw in some like do's and some don'ts, some nuggets and some uh, dispel some myths so you can have better results. Got it, got it, good guys. I'm actually going to jump right in. So guys, let me nugget right here. Let me actually drop a nugget right here. If you have watched any other video, right, and they tell you to use their uh, template letter, to buy a template letter, they have, you know, a whole bunch of template letters for you to use, pause. You already know you're listening to an amateur. Yep, I'm going to say it just like that. The 2023 Terry is a little tiny bit different. I'm going to say it just like that, guys. These blanket, mediocre average like uh, dispute template letters do not work they're ineffective that's why you all are frustrated you watched a million videos and you still have negative items on your report so tip right here nugget right here in this video I'm going to teach you how to write your own letters it's not that hard and more importantly the template letters do not work that's why y'all are watching this video Come on, somebody, okay? So step number one, guys, is to get a copy of your report, a consumer disclosure copy from annualcreditreport.com. Now, pause. This is not a fluff step. Literally, you need specifically that copy, annualcreditreport.com. Guys, your consumer disclosure product copy, I'm about to teach you, okay, is the most comprehensive copy you will ever get. It is the only website authorized by the Federal Trade Commission to give copies of reports to consumers. You need this copy to do an effective personal suite, which is one of the steps. It's the only copy that has this information. They have to give you everything in their files. So you're going to download your TransUnion, your Equifax, and Experian. When you go to annualcreditreport.com, guys, you won't be able to create like a login and go in and out. So as soon as you answer the questions, verify your identity, guys, save it on your desktop or your laptop. Save the PDF of your TransUnion, PDF of your Experian, PDF of your Equifax because it's super long, right? And you're going to need that copy to reference to do your actual dispute letters. This report, uh, this video probably already sounds different than what you heard. And let me give you, let me drop a bar right here, okay? I used to work for TransUnion. I am the only one in this space, especially making videos right now, that has actually worked for a credit bureau. I have over 20 years of experience. I'm board certified. I'm credit score certified. I'm not even a full-time YouTuber, guys. I have a consultant firm. I only do videos twice a week, okay? So this is why I hear so much fluff and garbage and nonsense on here. Is why I'm doing this video. One more nugget, depending on when you're watching this, February 22nd, I'm doing a deep dive into personal credit scores. I'll put the link below. If you have enough time, register ASAP because this is just dispute letters, this, this video right here. Okay, so get a copy of your personal all three bureaus. Step number two is to do a personal sweep. This part is critical. It's actually more important than uh, suppressing your file with data furnishers. What? Yes, that's a bunch of nonsense. You can suppress your file with data furnishers, but guys, a personal sweep is going to be more effective. Do you want to know why? If the information is not actually on your credit report, then they can't verify it. Forget what the data furnisher says. Come on, somebody, right? So what is a personal sweep? When you get your annualcreditreport.com copy, you're going to look in the very first section, right? Look at your names, your AKAs, your addresses, your phone numbers, your um employment information. Look at everything they have for you. It's going to be the most comprehensive copy. Even look for misspellings. And your goal is to have your credit report only have your current accurate information, your current name, current address. And that's basically it. Like they don't need a whole bunch of information. Nugget. The less information on your reports, the less they have to verify. Read in between the lines, guys, right? So you need to first know what's being reported for you from every bureau, everything. That way, when you do your personal sweep, you can list everything. Guys, do this part first, meaning that one of the things I'm going to recommend when you really have had a hard time is to do the personal sweep in one letter first. Send that off to the bureaus. Get confirmation that inaccurate, outdated, unfair name, addresses, misspellings, AKAs are off of your report and then do your disputes. Come on, somebody, right? And so this is where just nugget, 
the negative information on your report, negative information, this could be collections, this could be charge-offs, this could be repo, this could be foreclosure, this could be anything negative. The negative information on your report is tied to your personal information. They have to verify that it belongs to you, right? So if there is an address that is outdated, is your old address tied to a collection and you do not want that inaccurate, outdated address on your reports and you get that removed and then you dispute the item correctly with the credit bureaus well it doesn't mean you don't owe the item I, i'm trying to be like i can only do so much in one video but i want to be responsible with my language because that's what my brand is kind of built on is transparency and really educating you guys right so it doesn't mean you don't owe the item it just means that they cannot validate it or verify it so they no longer have the right to report it on your reports nugget right here the fcra fair credit reporting act guys disputing items is the only way to get items removed from your report. I don't care what you heard, right? People just dress it up a different way, but it all boils down to you doing a dispute. Now, why? Because the credit bureaus cannot legally just go into your reports and just start removing items. You, the consumer, have to initiate an investigation or a dispute. Under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Reporting Act, this just means you're challenging items that you feel, the consumer, is unfair, um, invalid, outdated, false, inaccurate right and is your right underneath the fcra to challenge anything on your reports guys it's law it's burden of proof right so if you challenge something the right way then the credit bureaus either if they're able to verify it and it's a valid item it stays on and if they're not able to verify it or it's an unvalid item it gets deleted okay so the personal sweep you want to make sure your credit report is super super clean just your name, your address, and that's it. You don't even need a bunch of phone numbers. You don't need a bunch of um, employment information. The less information, the better, right? You're doing that in writing to the credit bureaus, okay? Now, the very next step is then after you do your personal sweep, you're sending that off to the bureaus. And when you send it off to the bureaus, provide two forms of ID. How many, Terry? Two. And guys, I was going to do my nugget at the end. Two forms of ID showing your current name and your current address. I recommend your driver's license and like a utility bill, right? Now, if your driver's license does not have your current address, y'all make me weak with this, then don't send that. And then send two utility bills, right? But your driver's license, your utility bill showing your name and your address, you're sending it and you're saying, hey, I am, you know, Jane Doe. <laughs> I'm Jane Smith and I live at, you know, one, two, three, you know, Maple Lane. And here is my current name, current address, my date of birth, my social. You do need to provide that because you need them, the credit bureau to actually be able to pull up your reports. Okay. And then here is proof of who I am. This information is inaccurate and list whatever names, whatever AKAs, any misspellings, any previous addresses, any employment information, any phone numbers, anything that is invalid, outdated, that you want off of your reports tied to negative information as well. Write a letter, let them know exactly what you want to remove. You can't say remove previous addresses. No, you have to list everything out, guys. Get a notebook, get a pen, spend one hour, write the best dispute letter ever. It will like make you set thousands and save you thousands, okay? Send the personal sweep off, wait for confirmation back of what has been actually removed and removed before you actually do your dispute letter. That will help you get a better result, guys. And nugget right here, do not do your disputes over the phone, do not do them online. I don't care if it takes a little tiny bit longer. It doesn't take long to write one letter and send it off, guys, because they'll probably respond to you like a week or two weeks, even though they have 30 days by law, because even just challenging the personal information is still considered like a dispute. Anytime you're sending anything to the bureaus, it's considered a dispute when you're challenging or updating something. But that's still not the 5, 10, 15, 24 months y'all been paying for credit repair. Nonsense. All right, guys. So then step number three, right, is when you're, while this personal dispute is kind of that, like the sweep is off, right, and you're waiting for the information to come back, I want you to go through your reports. And guys, I don't care if you have to highlight all the negative items. Like really look at your actual reports. Look at the accounts. What things are negative? What do you actually need to dispute? List the company's name and account number and what it is you're disputing and what you want the outcome to be, right? So go through and everything you want to dispute, kind of have that list highlighted on your reports if you need to, okay? Then the next step is writing the actual letter. Do not use a template letter. 
I'm telling you what I know, okay? So what I'm, and guys, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So if you've been using template letters and credit repair for months and months and months, and you still have negative items, then I don't need to say anything else. Come on, somebody, okay? So get your own Word document or a piece of notebook paper if you have to. You can handwrite it or it can be typed. And you're going to write, and mind you, I'll put Nugget, I'll put a link in the description for the sample letter from the Consumer Protection Bureau. I use only authorized documents, meaning it gives you a sample outline, a, a idea of what to actually include from the actual Consumer Protection Bureau, but it's not a template letter for you to copy, okay? The less information, the better. Make it simple. You don't need to say per section 609 or per section Sounds like nonsense. Alert consumers don't sound like that. That's how the credit bureaus know that you're lying and that you're using a credit repair company. I'm going to just leave that right there. Okay, so in the actual, get a piece of paper, write, you know, your current information. Again, write name, address, social, date of birth, you know, two form of ID. You're still going to do that because now you're disputing the accounts. And then for the items you want removed, guys, list the company name, the company account number, what you're disputing, right? Is it that it's not yours? Is it that the balance is incorrect? Is it that the late payments are incorrect? Is it that the dates are incorrect? Is it that you don't recognize the item? Is it that it's paid in full? Is it that it's a zero balance? What are you actually disputing? And then list what you want the outcome to be. So do you want the account to be deleted? Do you want it to be updated, right? So if you're saying, you know, hey, I'm disputing my Macy's account, um, I got a credit limit increase and I also paid it in full. Please update this account to say, you know, $5,000 limit and a zero balance. That's actually still a dispute, right? This is where you're asking to update information, but you don't necessarily want that account deleted. Come on, somebody. I'm telling y'all some real stuff they charge thousands for. Make sure you like and subscribe and share my video, please, so we can help some people become some wealth warriors, okay? And then, or let's say you're disputing, you know, a Discover account you want deleted. This is a Discover account. This is the account number. This is not mine. I do not recognize it. Please dispute this and delete it. Okay, so company name, company account number, what you're disputing and what you want the outcome to be. Delete this, update this, change this. Got it? You can now nugget. You can write this all on one letter. You have never in a million years heard me say, send one letter January, one letter February, one letter March, one letter May. You sound crazy. It looks crazy. Nugget right here, guys, and make sure you register for my training, okay? Text the word Zoom. Um, I'll put it on the I'll put it in the description. Guys, this is where if you really got your credit report and there was 10 accounts that were not yours, you would not send one letter January, one letter February, one letter March. You would write one letter like, oh my God, it's 10 accounts in my report that are not mine. That's how we know you're a credit clinic, okay? Now, I'm going to say something right here that is going to make you possibly a little bit upset, but I'm going to be honest with you. You honestly have the best chance of getting items removed round number one. Round number one. So if you've already been disputing items for five and six and seven months, it's probably valid, right? It's like stop the insanity. Real, real talk. I'm, let me say it with a nice smile. Stop the insanity. Guys, this is where then you may need to use credit builder account. You may need a plan. You may need, look, may need to look at other areas. You can invest in a one-on-one -on -one session with me. I have other videos on here um, You know that, that can help you. There are still things you can do, but do not spend years trying to get one item deleted. If you disputed it like five, seven times, it's still on there. Still try the right way using my method with you know the consumer skills, your copy, with your ID, um, with you know doing the personal sweep, but you have lowered the chances because if you did it incorrectly or did it through a credit repair company already who did it incorrectly incorrectly then they probably already validated it i'm just I'm just look don't shoot the messenger okay i want to be i want to be transparent with my language to you guys so you have all that information then you're putting in one letter now you're sending it off to the credit bureaus right and that's like the fifth step right the fifth step is to send the letter to all three bureaus transunion equifax and experian now why the bureaus are competitors. They do not share information. So if something gets deleted from TransUnion, that doesn't mean it's going to be deleted from Equifax or Experian. Remember, the credit bureaus are privately owned entities, right? But they are governed by government agencies like the Consumer Protection Bureau, the Federal Trade Commission. So because of compliance, I'm telling y'all some real stuff, because of compliance, they can't just say, oh, okay, well, this bureau deleted it. I have to delete it. No, they have to do their own dispute process and document that. So send the letter. Guys, write one letter, make three copies into all three bureaus, send two forms of ID, send it certified. That way you can track when they got it and they have 30 days by law to respond to you. And then when you get the results, it's either going to say updated or it's going to say deleted or it's going to say it stayed the same. 
Gotta, gotta, good guys. And for my nuggets, let me real quick recap. Write the letter on your own. Don't use templates. You're exercising your rights underneath the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Two forms of ID with your current name and address. Send it certified. Do the personal suite first. I'm just going like off the dome, okay? Um, be specific with your disputes, guys. And you have the best chance round number one. And then lastly, there's other ways to increase your score if you have a valid negative item that will not be removed. You do not fret. There are ways that you can get there. Nobody should be working on their credit report for more than three to six months. I'm going to just leave that right there, okay? If you need help, follow me, subscribe, and I would be happy to help you. And guys, and for my nuggets, I'm going to keep it short and simple. Stop using shortcuts and expecting a great result. Guys, when you do it quick and fast, that's why you have you don't have the results that you want. So anything worth having is worth working hard for. I really simplified it in five steps that weren't really too hard, guys. So all you need to do is just do a couple of things the right way. Once you do it the right way, one good time, look, one good time, then you never have to do it again. So put in the work to have the results that you need and honestly, leveraging your credit to build wealth, which is my thing, can equal five and six and seven figures for you. So the next video you wanna watch is how to create passive income in 2023. Now why? Because many credit issues start as what? An income issue. So I will link that video and I can't wait to celebrate your success.